I'll be back. Okay, guys, welcome back to Team Fishinator. Wanted to go ahead and introduce uh, to you my stakeout pole and what I've put together for a stakeout pole. Uh, it's seven feet long, it's made out of PVC, and it has a wooden dowel insert for strength. I wanted to go ahead and just show you that it has this T at the top with the optional bolts, so you can go ahead and fasten your camera to it. And also has a pad eye there, so you could tether your camera in case there's a mishap, you, m you won't lose your camera into the drink. Okay guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Alright, here are the tools that you need. You need some sort of saw, box cutter, sandpaper or rasp, wrench, tape measure, marks a lot, needle nose pliers, screw gun slash drill. Next, the materials that you need, you need PVC primer, PVC glue, JB Weld, I chose the quick version, 15 minute set, you need PVC pipe, 3 quarter inch, schedule 40, two 4 foot pieces of three-quarter inch dowel. This is made out of poplar. Three-quarter inch T. Three-quarter inch plug. Double-sided wood screw. Some pan head screws made out of stainless steel. The three-quarter inch is long. And then there's Flat Phillips sheet metal screws, stainless steel, and two bolts, four nuts, two of which are lock nuts, quarter inch. Make sure these match your camera base. First thing you want to do is measure out the length of PVC pole that you want. I chose seven feet. I felt like eight feet was too long. Six feet was too short, so I'm going to go ahead and mark seven feet. Okay, the first thing you want to do is cut the PVC. Scared the poop out of my dog just now. Then you want to take this edge and you want to get it down. I like to use the rasp, it's, it seems to be a lot quicker. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then just rough this up a little bit with the glue. Sandpaper works best for that. Okay, it's pretty good. You can use a box cutter to, to get all of these burrs out of here. Not that it really matters, but that works. Okay. Next, you want to rig up your, your drill, quarter inch drill bit. And you want to go ahead and you want to pop a hole in the center of this one, right smack in the center. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and take and pop a hole in the center of the top of this one here. 
See if I can do it without making it walk. Perfect. That'll work. And what you want to go ahead and do is get these bolts. Stay there. Alrighty. Get this ready. That's what this needle nose pliers is for. You can get it, control it, and put it through there. I'm going to go ahead and take this the lock nut. You want to screw it on there. I'm going to hold this. Just like that. You want to get this set. Okay, now the next thing you do is the same thing to this one. You after you drill a hole, you put the bolt through, and then you go ahead and put the lock nut there, and then you put this here. And the reason why you put the second nut is so that you, when you screw your camera on it, you can finger tight up to the camera so that it, uh, it just makes a tighter connection. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and roughen this up with the sandpaper, which happened to fall on the ground. There it is. Go ahead and roughen this up real quick. Just do the same here. I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one as well. Use the rasp, get a little bit easier. other one. Alrighty. That's rough enough. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick that up off the ground. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this primer you want to be very careful with this stuff. This purple stuff gets on everything and it's just, it just makes a mess. It looks nasty. So I just go ahead and try and do it over this, over this can right here. Try and be as careful as possible. Just like that. Make sure there's none dripping. like that. Alright, go ahead and do the end that uh, we sanded earlier. Okay. Go ahead and secure that away. Like I said that stuff is a mess. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this T together. Once again, this stuff is a mess here as well, so be very careful. You put some on the inside here, like that. And there as well. Go ahead and do these. We'll go ahead and, once I put it on here, push it into the T so we don't have to set it down with the glue on it. So push it on in real tight just like that. And we're going to go ahead and do that with this one as well. Just 
like that. Go ahead and uh, get this ready. Do this one first. Like that. Set it on your knee. Get this one ready. Like that. Go ahead and put them together. Turn it a little bit to make sure that the glue's sticking. Okay, fellas. Back again. What did I tell you about it being a mess? I went to go put it away and look at that purple stuff. Spilled, must have been on the top of the can and spilt onto my hand. And I washed my hand like three times and it didn't come off. Go figure. But anyway, let's go ahead and start moving on. Next thing you want to do is you want to get a, this is additional tools that we didn't talk about earlier. We needed a, something for this pilot hole for this, for these, this screw. Uh, that might be a little bit big, so we might get a smaller one. And then we need this pliers to screw it in. Okay, we got a little bit smaller bit. Uh, it's actually probably too small, so we're going to wallow it out just a little bit. And the uh, purpose of this is to, we're going to union these two together. Because remember, we need seven feet. This is, four, one is four and one is four. We're going to have to Screw these two together with this double-sided screw here. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with right now. Try and get this as centered as possible. And try and, try and get it to go straight into the, into the rod. We'll go ahead and wallow it out just a little bit. Do the same to this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is turn off the camera while I screw this in. Okay, got it most of the way done. Uh, typically, I would have had this on my workbench using my vise. However, doesn't make for good video. So, I'm improvising today. All right. Pretty much got it tight. Try and line it up so that it's as straight as possible. Tighten it a little bit. I don't think that much matters because this is a little bit smaller diameter than the inside of the pole. All right, so now we're ready to fit it into the plastic pole. To the PVC pipe. Go ahead and put it in here, and this is strictly to strengthen this. Strengthen this. PVC pipe so that it would make a great anchor. Okay, it's got it sunk all the way down in there. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and figure a point here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my marks line and mark this. I'd like my point to be probably about that long. And I want it to come like that. like that okay so what I'll do is I'll get my sawzall and I'll go ahead and trim it into that shape and then I'll be able to rasp it down to a point okay we're gonna go ahead and whittle it down just a little bit more get more of a point shape to it 
sharpen in a pencil. Old fashioned way with a knife. Okay, so we got it down to a point where we can grasp it down, make it even look even better. Doesn't need to be perfect, all you have to do is have a point. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like here. Slide it down in there. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Next step is we put the JB weld on it. Well, first we're going to go ahead and put screws alternating into the pole the whole way down. Go ahead and do that now. That's, that's what the pan head screws are for. Let's go ahead and start with one right here. Flip it over. Doesn't need to be exact science. That's so that when the wood, if the wood gets moisture on it and dries out, it doesn't like curl it up. Next thing we want to do is mount this uh, pad eye here, and this is so you could tether your camera to your pole just as a precaution that you don't drop your camera in the water and lose it. Also, you can use this pad eye with a clip from your from your kayak, like a line on your kayak to your kayak and to, and to the pole like a tether. Okay, I'm mixing up some of the JB Weld. This stuff is like some of the strongest stuff known to man as far as I'm concerned. And once I put it on that point, it'll make a union between here and over the point, and this will never wear out. It'll limit the amount of water that gets in there. This is just amazing stuff. I highly recommend it. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hang it up vertically so that any dripping or any gravity will make it come to a point. That's the that's what we're trying to achieve here is a stakeout pole that you can easily use as an anchor. It's lightweight, strong, versatile. I'm sure you're going to enjoy having it on your boat. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and do this. Let's move this over here. Sure, it's seated down in there. Just glob it on. Just glob it on.
this stuff sets in 15 minutes and believe me you don't want to get it on anything that you don't want it there because it will stay you can see gravity starting to work on it right now I'm going to try and work with this as quickly as possible make a nice it's like it's like icing a cake make sure you mix up an ample amount of this the thicker this is the better make a nice point cover up all the wood shape it into a point try and make it thick all the way up here like this try and get a little bit more out of here okay ice and a cake that's what it's like and once we hang it upside down in the ceiling or something it will eventually form a point and you'll have a stakeout pole by tomorrow see it's starting to set up now I'm hanging it up like this. Gravity will start working on it and making it a point. Okay, guys, wanted to go ahead and show you the finished product. You can see that it's finished. I'm going to specifically show you the tip. Yeah, it's not the most perfect, but it works. Believe what I'm telling you. Okay, guys, hope this helped y'all out. So. See you next time.